Today, I want to introduce you to an application that is absolutely wonderful for watching YouTube in. It's called FreeTube, and it may be a better choice for you to use than your browser for watching YouTube, especially if you're using Linux because it gives you quite a few benefits. It is called the private YouTube client, and there's a reason for this. We're going to get into using FreeTube and how it actually gives you a better experience on YouTube, but I want to make a compelling argument for why free YouTube is a better choice than using your browser. Well, first off, this is a free and open source project. FreeTube is an open source desktop YouTube player built with privacy in mind. It's actually a very big focus and is one of the major reasons you may want to use FreeTube. It helps eliminate ads and additionally prevents Google from tracking your habits, including your viewing habits, which hopefully protects your data. It also has an optimized viewing experience. It's lightweight. And one of my favorite things is that it has a localized account management system, which we're going to get into in a little bit. Anyways, for those of you unaware, FreeTube is currently in beta, but has been around for quite a while. It talks about how it works here. FreeTube is built on an extractor to grab and serve data or videos and highlights the fact that you should probably be using a VPN or Tor client if you're using FreeTube in order to give you that extra boost of anonymity. What I've learned is the Linux community loves using this method for watching YouTube, second only to using a web browser like Firefox or Brave. Many people love this privacy focused YouTube client and we're going to get into their mission so we can learn more about FreeTube and why it's so special as well as reading their privacy policy. But before we do that, let me show you how to install it on Ubuntu here. I want to show you just how easy it is. And for those of you who aren't Linux users, you can also install FreeTube. We'll talk about that as well, but let's get into installing it here. First off, I'm going to go into the Ubuntu Software Center here. Most software centers will actually have FreeTube built in. So if we search for FreeTube here, we should be able to find it. Look at that, the open source YouTube app for privacy. We're going to click that. FreeTube here is given to us by Shamir Sharma. And we can look down to see what version is currently available. Now you might want the latest version, which there are a couple ways to get we're going to talk about. But for most of us, a stable version offered in a application store is going to be the easiest way to install it. So I'm just going to simply click install, put my administrative password in, and then authenticate that in order to get the install going. It's going to take a few moments and then I should be able to launch FreeTube. One thing I'll mention is in Ubuntu, you might have to toggle on a few permissions in order for it to support connection. Again, go through these and whatever you're comfortable with, assign the permissions to. And then finally, you should be able to search for that new application installed. Look at that, FreeTube is available. We're gonna get into using FreeTube now, but before we do, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more. Also, don't forget to smash that like button so more people can see this type of content. Anyways, let's go through how to use FreeTube. Well, if you want to use FreeTube, it's pretty easy. There's a way to open a new window if you want. So if you want to watch different things and different windows, you can do that. You can also filter things as well up top. So this allows you to filter just like you would on YouTube between different features, durations, types, time, and sorting by features. Now, since it's a brand new install, I'm not going to have any videos shown, shorts, live, or community. That's because I have no subscriptions. Well, that's easy. We can go over to the right-hand corner. You'll see this profile. And by clicking that icon, you will be able to see all your different profiles you can create. By default, you have one called all channels. That just means everything together. But anyways, if you click the create new profile button in your profile manager, you can create a new profile. We're going to call this profile, well, Savvy Nick for the channel name. And we're going to select a color orange here for me. And then I'm going to hit create profile. Now I have a new profile with its own subscription list, other channels, and so on and so forth. You might be asking yourself, what is a profile manager and what do these profiles do? Well, this is that localized account management system. You now have offline subscriptions and you can manage playlists and channels without needing a Google account. And you can effortlessly switch between various different local profiles for different viewing experiences and or shared use. A fantastic feature that I wish was on YouTube itself. It's not, but now we can go and actually create a subscription. For example, let's go over to the Savvy Nick channel and I have subscribe here and I can either select subscribe to on the Savvy Nick or all channels, whichever profiles I want, or I can subscribe from every one. Again, you can select whatever you want. It's a fantastic way to subscribe to your favorite creators. And then let's see what the viewing experience looks like here. It looks very much similar to what you would find on YouTube. If you want to fetch more results, you can as well. But anyways, if I just click on this, that should load the video. And sure enough, it's running in the background. You can't hear it because I have it blocked, but 
It is playing, currently no ads being played. I can also scroll down, look at the description, load more comments. That way I can read through the comments. And on the right hand side, it even gives you a curated up next deck based on whatever you're searching for. How cool is that? FreeTube is quite amazing with all these enhanced features without a YouTube or Google dependency. You can tell that it's very minimalistic and tailored to the viewing experience, but now let's go check out a topic. For example, well, Linux. Now you can see search results in for the keyword Linux, and you can go through and select a video. Here's one that I posted, well, seven hours ago that I can play, and sure enough, everything runs fine. The rendering's great, the buffering great. This tool is absolutely fantastic, and it doesn't just stop there. I mean, we have things like subscriptions so we can check all the videos, shorts, live, or community posts from our subscriptions. Of course, this gets more curated as you add more channels to your subscriptions list. You can also view your channels that you have subscribed to. You can check out trending that comes directly from YouTube's trending list, the most popular videos as well. And that's based on what you've been already searching for. Playlists, you wanna create or search for more playlists. And of course, checking out your history. Again, I wanna harp on the fact that this is all local history and offline. This isn't something being tracked by YouTube or Google because it's held locally. That's why this application is just absolutely fantastic. What we've ran into in the past with this type of client or player on the desktop is issues with hardware acceleration, dependencies on third-party applications or tools. Some of them are electron-based, meaning they're resource-intensive and less ideal for older systems. There's been privacy concerns and simply intrusive ads. But FreeTube has seemingly gotten rid of all of that. It's absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. And I suggest everyone to go at least check it out as a potential alternative player, at least on the desktop, and to support this open source YouTube app. The next thing I wanna mention is, if we go to the download section, the current version is 0.22, which is what I'm using on that Ubuntu setup. But here are all the different systems you can install FreeTube on. That's right, it's not just something Linux exclusive. You can install this on Mac OS, on Windows, on Fedora, on Ubuntu Debian, or even other Linux distributions. And if you already have FlatHub installed, it already has a FlatHub image as well. This makes FreeTube even better. Finally, I wanna get into their mission and their privacy statement, as it is clearly important to them. Let's read about it here. Privacy is something that has become more important as the years go by. Every day, something new is being created to take advantage of you and your data. Many of those that are aware of these violations feel helpless and eventually accept the new normal. These same people might even be aware uh, that alternatives exist. However, they find difficulty switching due to one reason or another. YouTube has become one such platform where those that use it still enjoy the service. However, they are not pleased with the misuse of their information when using the platform. Alternatives that are out there won't have the same content creators as the ones you are used to with FreeTube. Our mission is to provide a happy medium for these people where they can use YouTube on their own terms. We aim to show those that struggle with privacy that privacy can be easy and achievable. We want FreeTube to be accessible to all types of users by being a user-friendly and feature-rich as possible while also maintaining as much privacy as possible while using YouTube. And this is another fantastic mention. It is user-centric and easy to install. You can't say this about many applications that are meant to use YouTube. There are different ways of doing this. I've highlighted some of those before, but as a non-technical user, you might have a hard time doing it a different way. That's why FreeTube stacks up against using a web browser, which we're all pretty much familiar with and makes it super convenient and simplistic in order to use YouTube. But FreeTube, after hopefully seeing how it works here, you can tell that it's pretty easy to use as well. Other ways, of course, are terminal-based methods, other players like VLC player, or other applications that aren't just easy to install or use. There are different methods, but there's really just nothing better than FreeTube, at least in my opinion. The final thing we'll cover is the privacy policy here to explain what information is collected by visitors of the FreeTube website and how it is used. The privacy policy may be changed or updated at any point in the future. Basically, the amount of data collected are as follows, an anonymized IP address, the used web browser and the used operating system, the device type used and the outcoming incoming links. An anonymized IP is defined as an IP with the last two points emitted. For example, if your IP address is this, you would only have 00 at the end. You can also opt out of these analytics as well. That, of course, was for the website. 
We also have one for the application. And here it's taken even more seriously. Your privacy is taken very seriously as a free tube user. Your subscriptions, histories, favorited videos, and settings are all saved by and stored locally on your machine. Very important to detail this. This data is never uploaded or saved to any server. All information can be deleted at any time by the user navigating to the settings page and deleting the information of their choosing. They go into how they keep the connection and various parts of the data that they serve anonymous and not going into the hands of YouTube in the following. You'll definitely want to read their privacy policy, but it's very important to understand how awesome this tool is. But they do recommend a VPN, like I said at the beginning of the video, because they want to avoid sending your real IP address. Now that you've experienced the FreeTube app, I want to know whether or not you're going to try using it for yourself. Have you used it in the past? Love to hear from you. And if you value your privacy, you like a minimalistic environment that's tailored to your viewing experience, it seems like FreeTube is an awesome choice instead of a browser. It seemingly respects your data and empowers you to take control of your own YouTube experience. It makes it super easy to clear the search cache, remove watch history, remove all subscriptions and profiles, and remove all playlists, all by clicking a few buttons. You can also get rid of your data super quick. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below for more videos like this. You wouldn't want to miss when new ones get released. And especially if you made it this far, make sure to smash that like button. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.